Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the battery on my Fluke 117 multimeter. And this should be the same process for the Fluke 114 multimeter and the Fluke 115 multimeter. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that the multimeter is in the off position. And then we need to remove both of the test leads like so, and then flip the multimeter over. Okay, and then we will need a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove this Phillips screw here. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we don't wanna lose this screw, so let's just set it to the side here. And then we're going to lift up on the bottom of the stand here. And this whole part will lift out like so. And then the nine volt battery is right there. So to get the nine volt battery out, um, we just push down just gently. There's a foam part right here. So if you just gently push down um, and then you can pull the nine volt battery out. And if you look at where the nine volt battery goes, there's a plus sign here and a minus sign here. So you just wanna make sure that you install your new nine volt battery the correct way. This nine volt battery is okay. So I'm just going to reinstall it and we'll just make sure that the plus sign goes on this side and that the minus sign goes on this side here. So if we put the bottom of the battery in first on that foam piece, that allows you to push down just gently a little bit and then allows the battery to seat all the way into place like so. So just make sure that the nine volt battery seats all the way into place correctly. Um, then on this part here, there's a, a part that sticks out here and you just wanna make sure that that goes in first like this. So you can see how that just seats in there. And then we can push the nine volt battery holder into place like so. And then we can gently push the stand back into place like this. Then we're going to go ahead and reinstall the Phillips screw here. And we just wanna make sure to tighten that all the way down. And don't over tighten. You don't want to uh, strip any of the plastic threading out. And then we will uh, reconnect our test leads. And then let's turn on the Fluke 117 multimeter and make sure that it's working. And there we go. So that's how you replace the nine volt battery on the Fluke 117 multimeter. And this should be the same process for the Fluke 114 multimeter and the Fluke 115 multimeter. So I hope this video has been helpful and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.